Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome back to Classic Game Room, even though this entire week is devoted to the majesty and greatness of Atari, that doesn't mean there aren't lots of really bad games on Atari, especially the 2600. This is Bugs from 1982, a game that has many of them. I typically love games that are played with the Atari 2600 paddle controllers. Simple, elegant design, great for games like Breakout, Warlords, Demons to Diamonds, even Egomania. But how about... Bugs? From Data Age, released in 1982. Data Age put out a number of good games. This is not one of them. Bugs is disappointing. It feels like a game that was put out in an afternoon. And I normally like games where they take two or three different arcade games and combine them together into one Atari game with a ridiculous plot. You're saving the galaxy, Zargonark! From the evil aliens from X3497. Fight using the Marlock Cannon! Well, that's great if the game doesn't suck. Which Bugs kind of does. This is like a mixture of centipede and an upside-down demon attack. You move left and right and shoot the bugs, and then that thing materializes in the middle of the screen, which attacks you, and you can't move up or down or anything, so you just have to shoot it while it's coming towards you. And that's, that's the whole game. You know, people always talk about the video game crash of 1982 or 83 or whatever. Like it was this monumental event that almost struck down video games. Well, games like this flooded the market in 1982 or 83 and they cost a lot of money back then. It wasn't like downloading games off the app store for 99 cents and having a bunch of user reviews to warn you beforehand. You were on your own dropping 30 to 40 bucks on crap like bugs. Oh look, I missed the thing or whatever and now the bugs and maybe, what is that, a salamander, a gecko, reached the top of the screen. Geckos aren't bugs, by the way. These people need to go back to school. Uh, Classic Game Room was not there to save you in 1982. So for the unfortunate few who bought bugs, I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you in time, wielding a Vectrex and a giant glass of beer. I'd rather play Zavitz. The music is terrible, the gameplay concept is ludicrous, and the controls are actually pretty good because it uses the Atari Paddle controller. But, you know, where this one really falls down is, is just conceptually. It's not very good. Yes! I've defeated the bugs and lizards. However, I do have a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Luke in Concord, New Hampshire once again. Thank you, Luke. It's funny how I always end up with 31 points after my first round. Like most Data Age games, the artwork looks pretty cool, but the game inside is... not good. There's actually much better Data Age games out there. Avoid bugs at all cost. If you're looking for a great video game with giant insects, well, you know where to turn. EDF! Darts and... what the hell? This is such a bad game. I want to punch Data Age in the head. This game is one giant bug that deserves to be squashed. I just thought of that. Pretty proud of myself. Here's my favorite part of bugs. Ah. Uh, hey, it's blue. <laughs> 